guys, it's Kate. Welcome to Copper and Twenty Narcissus One Hundred One. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and thank you for joining me. And if you like a one-on-one -on -one session, I'm gonna link my uh, email address below. is a uh, Coparenting with NAC one zero one one at gmail dot com. All right, guys. Does the narcissist believe that you and the kids are coming back? Do, do they believe that you, whether they discarded you or you left, that you and the kids are coming back? The answer to that is yes. <laughs> <laughs> they actually believe that you are coming back either, either way that you guys are separated and this is because you see in the narcissist with an over the narcissist in the uh, little island in your head you know that they live in where uh they are they're, they're the rule of everything and they control every rules they make the rules and they break the rules and choose to obey the rules when they want to so in this little island that they, you know they are god that um they actually believe that uh you can never be done with them you know and they can't really never be done with you because in this little island in your head where they own everybody and own you know uh your thoughts and and, and your, what you're saying you belong to them forever you know that's just how it works so whether you left or they left you it doesn't matter they believe that that's how it's supposed to work in this in the world that alternative universe that they live in you know, because that's how it's entirely how it's supposed to work, you know, in your head. So, yes, they do think that you and the kids are coming back. And you are coming back because, like I said, uh, you are stuck with them for life. And it's kind of like, um, guys, when you have like an appliance in the house, uh, let me say like a refrigerator or whatever, you know, just pick that. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. And some, you know, you go and go get you a new one, but you didn't actually throw the old one away because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But you, you, you refuse to have anybody take the refrigerator either, you know, because you have it as a backup. Okay, so you have the refrigerator sitting in the garage or somewhere in the storage because occasionally it works, you know. So the narcissist pretty much looks at you like that, like they look at you like the. The backup refrigerator when they moved on to the new supply where they're not really going to let you go uh, in their mind anyway. They're not going to let you go so you can move on with your life, have somebody else. They, but they want they, they want to have you sitting. They don't want to improve it. They want you sitting, have broken that they can, you know, come in and out to use you, you know, when they feel like it. So... <laughs> Yes, they do believe that you can't be done with them because that's not how that works in the little island in your head where they are God. And they can't really be done with you because you are supposed to serve them for life. You know, you belong to them, you know. So I know uh, 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 reason why they, I mean, um, uh, they believe that uh, you and the kids are coming back is that like in this little universe they have in their mind as well. Yeah, uh, if you left then you need to come back so that you'll be punished <laughs> guys you need to come back so you'll be punished because you that's not what you're supposed to do you are not supposed to leave so they will believe that you come back so that you guys will, they'll come punish you so you guys will uh go through this process where they are the ones eventually to discard you and of course discard it doesn't mean that you are still allowed to move on with your life no it's just to have the story rewritten where they are the ones that left you know? and if the you are the if they're the ones that left you they will need to make sure that you're still in place so that's why they uh believe that you come back because you coming back means obviously that when they left you that the light went out of your life and nothing changed and you're stuck so you are coming back so you have to come back because that way the story is how they want it in their head i hope i'm making sense with this <laughs> the story is how they want it in their head where you come back because that's how it's supposed to work you know another reason why the, the you you uh the not believes that uh you and the kids will be coming back is um they need you to come back to further support the delusional thinking they have in their head you know their own false sense of uh, self-importance you know because if you come back it solidifies the narrative in their head of themselves or the, how they view themselves that they are great they are the, they're the most they are the perfect one i mean 
what how what what best else can you do after them this is it this is it for you you've you've attained it you know the ultimate thing so there's there's no, no other place to go from them unless down you know so if they need you to come but they believe you have to come by because it supports the delusional thinking of them of their own false sense of uh, importance you know it has to you have to come back so that you uh fit into this uh narrative of themselves where they are they are the you know they are the shit you know that's that's it they are the, they are that's it that they are the a plus you're not gonna go anywhere else you know so they believe you're coming by because they need to uh uh confirm that you know they need to have that confirmed that you'll be coming back because like i said it all begins and stops with them in their mind that's how you know they believe that uh that's how it's supposed to go so you coming back with the children is saying it's like uh-huh i told you guys i'm the greatest there's there's not they can't do any better this is it you know i i, I know I'm the, i'm the most important thing in their life so when i left they can't do anything else they have nobody else to go they couldn't do any better so of course they have to come back you know so that's why uh the narcissist actually believes that you and the kids are coming back it doesn't matter how many supplies that they've moved on after you you know but for all these things to happen because of all these reasons they do actually believe that you're coming back they believe that you're coming back with the kids because like i listed here for whatever reason one of the reasons this is here they it helps them um believe helps them expect you to uh return and whether they discarded you or you discarded them it doesn't matter you know because it needs to because of these things it needs to fit into how they view how how it works in their world you know so in their world because of all these things are listed here you have to come back because that's that's how it works <laughs> in their mind you know all right guys get a hold of your mind and everything else will fall into place take care